Today, South Australia Police are involved in the production of a new road safety campaign uh, advertisement, which is in response, our overall response to uh, reducing road trauma in, in South Australia. Today's advert focuses on drug driving and is part of uh, the state government's $11 million annual commitment to road safety in South Australia. We know that drug driving uh, in 2023 contributed to around about 20% of all fatalities on South Australian roads and South Australia Police detected over 5,360 people for drug driving during uh, the calendar year last year. That is proof to us that if you're going to drug drive then you are going to get caught and we will remove you from the road so that you are safe to yourself and you are safe to other people who, who are using our roads. We hope that uh, the advert that's being filmed today, its appearance on TV, radio, billboards and through social platforms will motivate people who think that they can drug drive on South Australian roads to change their mind, to change their decisions, to act more responsibly and they can see what the consequences are of what their actions are around drug driving. So the, the advert is comprised of, of two parts uh, around a drug driving scenario and that is uh, one drug driving scenario based on someone who's taking methamphetamine and decides to drive uh, and my understanding was yesterday there was some filming in relation to that aspect of this advert where uh, a drug driver on methamphetamine was pulled over by a police officer uh, and, and tested um, and the result of the sanctions of drug driving uh, which what flowed from from that particular scenario and shows the consequences of what you what you stand to lose as a drug driver. Today, there's as the ongoing part of that advertisement is uh, a controlled uh, collision between three cars, uh, where the person is driving on cannabis, um, and the consequences of an impairment to your driving ability if you decide to drug drive on cannabis. And it's not just cannabis; it's an impairment on your ability to drive. Uh, whether you take cannabis or methamphetamine or MDMA, uh, the adverts are designed to show you what you can lose and what the consequences are of you undertaking those actions. What messaging do you hope this kind of drives home to drug drivers that might be watching this advert at home? Look, our main part about this is to just to motivate those people and get those people thinking that if they uh, want to consume uh, prescribed drugs or illicit drugs and then make a decision to get in behind the wheel of a car or get on their motorbike and ride, what consequences that can have for themselves, what consequences it can have for their friends, their family, uh, who they might be with while they were driving, uh, who else is using the road. So really these adverts are a, a trying to motivate people to change their thought process around getting behind the wheel and drug driving. Look, as I said earlier, uh, 5,360 plus people last year were detected drug driving in South Australia. It's a completely unacceptable number, to be honest. Uh, we want to see that number reduce significantly. Uh, we don't want people drug driving on our roads uh, because of the trauma that it can cause. And as, as I said, you know, 20% of the fatalities last year involved people who had drugs in their system. Uh, these adverts are about changing uh, uh, the landscape of that about pricking people's conscience about what they, would, what they are doing. Uh, so hopefully that can help drive the message through. This is just one of the, the ways in which we do that. Uh, there's advertising, there's education. Uh, we go to, to all manner of uh, different platforms to try and get that message across. So this is just one in a, in a suite of, uh, of, of different things and, and that we are using to, to get that message across. Going back to the last Incident at that sure. time. What other safety precautions are in place this time to make sure that Look, this is a, a very controlled environment. Uh, this, the, the mock crash, if you call it that, is um, it's not a stunt. Yeah, it is a special effect. Uh, no corners have been cut in terms of safety. 
and you would have seen walking down here uh, today how many production staff are here, uh, making sure it is safe, how many uh, people are, are watching on this particular advert so that everything is controlled, uh, the safety is done. You'll see that the, the vehicles that are being used in this particular crash are on cables. Uh, there's no uh, humans uh, in the vehicle. Um, it is all done remotely uh, and by remote control. So uh, I'm very confident that you won't, uh, we won't see what happened down at Alberton in, uh, uh, here today. So. And all the people, um, the residents have been notified? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep, yeah, very much so. They've, they've all been spoken to and they've all been notified of what's happening today. Uh, our legislation allows us uh, to test roadside for methamphetamine and cannabis and also MDMA. But we also know that cannabis and, uh, and methamphetamine are up there with the most commonly used uh, controlled drugs. So our testing regime as it stands at the moment allows us to test for those particular drugs, which is why we're focusing on those drugs being part um, of this particular advertising campaign. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.